Yes, sir. Rise and grind back at you with another video with the Pull Up King. In this video, we got a 2016 Infinity QX80. We're going to be doing the alternator on it. Brand new alternator. All right, so it's not holding the charge. This battery and the alternator is what keeps the battery charged. So we're going to be swapping both of them out. We have emotion, we have emotion. 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 I swear I'm gonna ride for this, I'm gonna grind for this. I did time for this. I swear I will build for this on God. My partner got killed for this. We have emotion, we have emotion, we have emotion, nigga. Hey, we have emotion, we have emotion, we have emotion, nigga. I swear I'm a grind for this, I did time for this, I'ma shine for this. I swear I will build for this on God. My partner got killed for this. We have emotion, I swear I ain't bragging and boasting. Alright, so what we want to do first, you want to take off your negative terminal. And then we go ahead, this coolant reservoir, get that out the way with these 10 mil bolts. 10 mil on a terminal. All right, we got the tensioner right there. That's our tensioner. 14 millimeter bolt. Now, now I can't find my short uh, socket 14 mil, so I put a long one on it, a deep socket. But it worked out. All you got to do is just press down on it. It's uh, counterclockwise. Press down and release the tension. And belt off. Now we want to get up under it. Jack it up. Now we're going to take off the skid plate. So we got one bolt right there, and one right there. That's gonna drop this whole piece down. That way you ain't gotta take out all these bolts. So those 13 mils, two in the front. And then we got one right here, one right there, 13 mil. All right, we got that down. Now we up under, got that oil cooler. We're gonna have to remove that so we can get to it. The alternator right there. We got all three of those bolts out, 12 mil. Get through here. And work with our bolts here. We got see our connector right here. See this ground wire? That's gotta be removed. And it's the back side. Alright, we got our connector. We're gonna this bracket right here, remove it. 10 mil. Gonna leave that connected. Just swing it away from it. Just press that tab in. Need some strength to do it, but make it happen. A power wire. going to be a 12 mil. All right, next we're going to hit the bottom bolt. That's it right there. 
it's a 12 mil, 12 mil bolt. This is what I'm using, 12 mil in this little stubby ratchet. All right, got that one loose. And we gotta get the top one. So it's right above and I can touch it right here. So I'm gonna just get up in here and break that free from the bottom. All right, you definitely gonna le need leverage to get that because that boat is tight. So that's what I did, put my wrench on it or you can use a, a pipe of some sort. That's how long that boat is. Top. Now we can go ahead and get this out. Wanna get a pry bar? Pry it out. That thing fall right out. Get it from here. Work it through, man. It will come past these wires, these lines. Move that cooler to the right. I right, set it up in there. Now we're going to get our top bolt in there first. So it's pretty easy to mount it back up. Now you can get on this side, the right side, or this side that I'm on is right. So you would just use this. You just put your hand on one side and the other hand on the other and guide it up in there and guide that uh, bolt up in there. And we're gonna put the bottom one in. All right, we up in there, bolts tighten. Go ahead and put that oil cooler back in. Oil cooler in. Don't forget to put that ground wire on there. Now we're going to hook up everything back here. Power wire, bracket, put the connector on there. And we in there. So what I realized, I can put the belt on from below. So if you wanted to get it from the bottom, you can. All right, we got that belt on. Found my short 14 mil. All right, we back up. I put our coolant reservoir back in. Put up our battery, start it up. All right, so that's gonna be it. That completes the repair. This battery is gonna be replaced by the customer. Uh, I don't recommend to ride on this because it will kill the new alternator. I hope the video helped out. Until next time, pull up King.